Hi, thanks a lot for watching. And for this edition, we are joined by our Predictive Media Network colleague, Ron Oliveira. Hey, and Ron, Ron, I wanted to uh, have you join us in this segment because a great question came up the other day in one of our media trainings. A client asked, how is it that reporters decide which sound bites or which quotes to take out of an interview to put in their story? Great question, yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, you used to make a living out of picking sound bites. In your many, many career. times, either for news reports that I would do, from interviews that I would do, or also photographers or other reporters would share interviews with me and say, Ron, can you help me pick a sound bite? So what, uh, what, what was the thing that you looked for or listened for? A summation. What is it that the person being interviewed, what's the most important thing that they said that summed it up in a short amount of time? What makes a bold statement that the viewer is going to remember? Okay. And a summation in a short amount of time. 10, 15 seconds, and it can say it all. And I think we have a clip we're going to show, right? Yeah, this is an example here, a recent story in Austin about a, a new facility that uh, will soon open to house about 50 homeless people, uh, a, a residential uh, facility that also includes uh, mental, a, health. A mental health services and things. And so the uh, spokesperson did a nice job of, uh, in, in a short amount of time, summing it all up, the impact on the audience. Let's take a look. The 40,000 square foot complex will be able to house 50 individuals. And it's important to Austin to improve everyone's quality of life and it saves us money. A very, very strong statement by Ellen Richards there and in less than 10 seconds. Yeah, and, and she really uh, hit on two different things in that short amount of time. Number one, it's important to improve everyone's quality of life and it saves us money. So two different things that could impact uh, the audience, uh, not only- And that's what she wanted the viewers to know. That was what was most important in her mind. Okay, why did the reporter pick that? Because of that too. Reporters are looking, how does this benefit our audience? What do they need to know uh, from this person that I'm interviewing about this particular story? So. Anybody that's being interviewed by a reporter, let me tell you this, if an interview goes on for 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, it's because of two things. Number one, the reporter is probably brand new into the business and feel that they have to ask a lot of questions. Or number two, and this is the main answer here, they haven't heard a sound bite from you. If you ever see a reporter that looks over at you when you have said something, that you may feel is significant and they wince or they look over at their photographer to make a notation of that, you have just given them a soundbite. Yeah, it's a very common complaint, I might say, that a client says, you know what, I talked to that reporter for, Forever. for 45 minutes yeah. and that's the one thing they picked to use for me and it may not have been something they thought was important. And that's why we recommend to people to go in with a plan. Think of the most important thing, basically your headline message uh, that you want to get across to the audience that you'd want them to use, but you have to also take into consideration how it impacts the audience Without because that's what the reporter is looking for. Headline message, keep that in mind constantly. It's what you say at the very beginning and it's what you say at the very end of the interview. And it reinforces in the reporter's mind that that's what you want the audience to hear. Very good. Ron, thanks for joining By us this time. By all means, Russ, anytime. All right, and thanks for watching.